Hi, welcome back to my channel, Coding Skills. As part of this video, we will learn how to match the contents of one file to another file. So let's see what exactly is the matching of the file. So it is the process of combining the contents of one file to an another file. And basically these files should be classified as source and target. That means contents of source will be copied to the target file. And while opening this target file, we should make sure to open the file only in the append mode. Otherwise, the existing contents which are there in the target file will be overwritten. We will see the implementation using the two different approaches. First one will be using IO package and second one will be using an IO package. Let's switch back to Eclipse tab. Creating a Java class. Static public static wide main method. Importing scanner. Creating instance for the scanner. And mapping it to input stream. Printing a message on the console to enter a source file. And save it in some string variable. In the same way, request for target file. Please enter. Target file name capture it in another variable so we have both the file names let's write a method public Both the input values we have to click one. In this particular method, some main method. Let's try that and target value. For the documentation purpose, I'll add it. So, from this, I go back to. So there are certain classes which are required to implement this particular approach. So I'll be importing those things. I can do the organized input, but I wanted to show you the what are the classes which are involved. So since I'm trying to import them manually. I'll input here. These are the few classes we'll be using here. So as we are dealing with the files, definitely there is a chance of exception. So let's start with the try catch block. Catching and printing it in stack trace. Right now we are getting the error. The reason is we don't have any block. It's not right. 
So once we encoded this block, then this error, error will go up. We are creating instance for the source file name. We are checking whether the source file exists or not. Only if the source file is exist, then only we will perform the copying thing, right? Otherwise, we simply say that source file does not exist. If the file exists, then what will, will perform the actual logic? File input string. Make which will take source file object. Here we need to mention target file. Target file now. And the next parameter is the point parameter, which is true. What exactly true means? If you pass true, then this particular file, the target file, will be opened in a append mode. Otherwise, by default, if, if you have not passed this file, then it will be considered as a false. It will not open in append mode. So every time whenever you execute this particular piece of block, it will overwrite the contents. You need to make sure like when you are dealing with the matching of the contents. We have opened both the files. Yeah. Upper dot dot right, cut off in dot. Read all bytes. So this is going to read all the contents from source. So we are done with that. Now we are closing both the file streams that we have opened. So we are done with the first approach. I'm creating files. Next in particular observe that I have only created a hello.txt first file. So I'll not create the target file, I'll show you the back. My source file name is hello.txt. So I'll give target file as hi.txt. Right now, this hi.txt file does not exist. And you see that the content from hello.txt is this one and content in high.txt is this one. So same contents are copied. And if you look at the program, this piece of code is going to create a file if the file does not exist. If the file exists, it will open an append mode. So that's the reason I have not created a high in the first instance. This is how we'll see the matching. So let's run the program again. We go back to file. Again, it copied another line. So let's go back to the second approach. For the second approach, I want to copy the other signature. 
कमेंट फर्स्ट अप्रोच सेकंड अप्रोच इज यूजिंग एनआईओ पैकेज राइट प्लस इंपोर्ट द रिक्वायर्ड क्लासेस फॉर द सेकंड अप्रोच कोड जावा डॉट एनआईओ डॉट जावा ये तो थ्री थिंग्स विल यू जी so very first step in the second approach also so we need to open the file and check the existence of the source well we'll be doing the same thing for in everything we just need to do the try catch block to handle the exception Well, that is. Then we'll perform the actual logic. Otherwise, we'll do the same thing. I'll copy this message. तो भी आप अंदर सोच पर फाइल डॉट राइट पाथ स्टार्ट कर Nothing dot read all byte. Not really. Channel dot in dot append. So these are the three parameters we need to submit for the file production. This is done with it. And now close. We need to make sure that all the resources were released. That's all. We are done with the program. Let's export. Before exporting, I'll just do that. I'm modifying the content from. And I'll delete the hollow file. Hi, sorry, hi, boy. To show you the impact, how it behaves. So we have only followed a TX exit. Next for the program. See the exception. Whereas in the first approach, the target file does not exist. It was creating automatically. But in this approach, it did not create the target file. Instead, it was just given error, creating that no source file exists for the first I dot text. Create a I dot text. Let's run the program again.
So if you look at the high, so how are you So these are the candidates for it from ru.txt file. Let's run with the native scenario as well. So ABC is an invalid file, right? So the source file does not exist. This is a we can copy the content using the two different approaches. Thanks for watching the video. In case if you are having any questions, please do let me know. Please like the video and share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time. If you are looking for any specific program, please do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.